Namaskaram. Welcome to my channel, VPK Nutrition, Mind Body Healing with Pushpa. We'll be continuing today with our series on chakras and talking about the Anahata or Heart Chakra today. So stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. Uh, first of all, thank you so, to all my viewers who have been watching regularly and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so, please do subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. So let's get started with today's episode. Anahata Chakra. The word Anahata is a Sanskrit word meaning unstruck, unstruck sound. So the sound that is produced by not clanging two things. So when we are in absolute silence and you really observe your inhalation and exhalation and focus on the heart there is a certain sound or rhythm there or a vibration so this is what this is referred to again the heart chakra or the anahata chakra is the fourth chakra from the bottom up and it is actually uh, serves as a bridge between the lower chakras and the higher chakras so it, so unless this heart chakra is open and free flowing it is very hard to rise to a spiritual level so today we are going to be covering some of the attributes of this chakra. Now this chakra is responsible for all the love and compassion somebody feels. So if the chakra is imbalanced, you feel very dry. You don't feel a lot of love towards other people or compassion towards other people or even to yourself. And there is a certain amount of melancholy uh, feeling within all of the time. So this is why the heart chakra is so important to be balanced. So not only to uh, solve a lot of your past traumas and things like that, but also to rise to a higher level of spirituality. So let's look at some of the attributes. Beginning with the elemental composition, the element is air. More specifically, Vyanavata or Vyanavayu among the Panchapranas. Um, sense is touch. Bija Mantra is Yam. Location is in the heart. Lotus, it has 12 petals. There is also uh, two triangles within, one facing up, directing towards the upper chakras and one facing down and they intersect with each other. And this also serves as a bridge between the to upper and the lower chakras. The color visualized is green. Green represents healing energy. The planet or graha associated with this chakra is Venus. Gunas, again, rajas or sattva, um, depending on how balanced or imbalanced it is. Doshas, again, vata because of the vayu, uh, so air and space dominant, uh, considered to be vayu mandala or the region of air according to the shat chakra, chakra nirupanam. Glands, thymus gland, other parts of the body, cardiac plexus, lungs, heart, pericardium, arms, legs. The inner state is love and compassion. Our emotional and mental state is love and compassion and also attachment. Now problems in the physical level manifest as asthma, high blood pressure, heart disease, lung disease, Usually the sadness is associated with lung disease, mentally expansion, spirituality, openness, freshness, freedom, lightness, simplicity, and softness. So it gives you a sense of joy and elation when the heart chakra is balanced. The yoga path is bhakti or devotion to a higher altar because this represents love, the chakra. Yoga practice, again, heart opening poses like Bhujangasana, Mayurasana are some examples which will help us expand this chakra. Pranayama and Adi Shodhana is always good to clear up the prana. Meditation, again, compassion meditation, which is a phenomenal for opening this chakra. And I've shared the link in the description of one of my older videos where you can uh, follow along as a guided meditation. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, just to give a little recap, so if, you're, if your heart chakra is balanced, you're going to feel more joyful, happy, very compassionate, loving towards everybody. Uh, but if it is imbalanced, you're going to feel that dryness and not feel that love and compassion within and that sadness 
all the time. So again, uh, Shad Chakra and Lurupanam uh, verses 22 to 27 describes this in detail with all of the deities within. Kakini is the goddess uh, uh, associated with this chakra. So if you want to know more details about those kinds of things, please refer to the uh, link in the description. You can go and read about it. So um, for today, I'm going to be sharing a link for the compassion meditation. So you can start doing that right away. And of course, in a couple of days, I will try to share a guided meditation using the Bija Mantra that like I've been doing for the other chakras. So again, listen to your body, observe your mind and heal yourself. And I'll see you all next week with another episode. Have a wonderful week ahead. Thank you.